All right, now the Pfizer vaccine could get full FDA approval by Labor Day. The hope is that it will encourage the unvaccinated to get their shots. Now, some are hesitant since the FDA has not given final approval. Our Y guy explains the process. Among the millions of people who have already been vaccinated is Chris Hancock. I myself have been vaccinated now for several months. The 11 Alive viewer has run into resistance within her own family. One of their biggest hesitation is because it hasn't been approved by the FDA. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration granted emergency use authorization and continues to monitor the safety of the vaccines Americans are now getting. Here's why the FDA has not yet given their final stamp of approval for the vaccines. For months while operating under the emergency authorization, vaccine manufacturers have been collecting data. Dr. Greg Scouta of the University of Georgia's College of Pharmacy says the FDA will carefully review all of that data before granting full approval. A whole bunch of people to review millions of pages of documents. FDA review process is the most robust in the world. Prior to granting emergency authorization, the FDA conducted a scientific evaluation of the vaccines. Based on that, the agency says they can assure the public that the vaccines meet the FDA's rigorous standards for safety. The agency can withdraw emergency use authorization and halt the use of a vaccine if there are problems. Dr. Gouda says once the FDA gives final approval, it's very difficult to remove that distinction. When they use the term approval, it has legal implications. You can go to court, they have to show a deficiency, and it's a big process. So approval is a big step. Dr. Gouda says in most cases, the data review process alone can take the FDA anywhere from six months to two years.